What is going on everybody, TechSusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you the new update to the Citra emulator by Zhang Wei. This is the 0907 version and it brings several new features such as install CIA and I will show you how that works later on in the video. Now let's just go into settings. There is a new option here and that is enable hardware shader. And this will uh, make some games work and it might have problems with other games. So you will have to enable it or disable it depending on which games. And I will try to find a game that um, works with this. And the rest of the options, they are the same. So let's head out of here. And the game I want to try here is Super Smash Bros. And I will show you how the install CIA feature works. And what I want to do is install an update and DLC. So let's skip all of this. Okay, so what I want to do is go into uh, game and more. Just going to go into solo, then training, so we can have a quick look at the available characters right now. So here is the character list. So remember, the after we do the um, installation of the CIA, DLC will have more characters. So let's just pick a character. Let's go with uh, Captain, Falcon. Captain Falcon. And here is the um, stage list. And as you can see on the bottom, it is blacked out. So several stages are in the DLC. So um, let's pick a stage now. Final destination. There is a few stuttering here and one thing I want to mention that unfortunately this version isn't faster than the 0729 version but it does have the additional features. Okay here we are and as you can see it is not as fast. There is some flickering that is probably because of the um, screen recorder. Okay, so there are more new options here. So let me show you. If you click on here, there's called the uh, controller scale. We've got controller opacity, emulation by touch, and that is it for now. So let's start off with the controller scale. So if I take it all the way, well not all the way, if I take it slightly lower to 10%, you can see that the controls have actually shrunk in size. You might prefer that if you want to still use the on-screen controller. And if you go back again, so let me just put it back to uh, default, which was 50. Next we have is controller opacity. So if I take it all the way down, now the controllers have disappeared. Um, obviously, if you know where they are, you can still use them. But the this is where it benefits is if you've got a... Uh, Binding up to use the control pad, the on screen controllers are not going to show. And um, lastly, we have emulate motion by touch. Now, some games where you need to um, tilt the uh, 3DS, it will have some action, but you can't do it right now. But with emulation by touch, I think it will work. I will see if I can find another game that does that anyway. Um, Let's uh, put that back to 100%. Let's see if FMV hack improves the performance. Nope, sound is still stuttering. Anyway, um, let's come out of that. And I'm going to go into my file manager. So, as you can see here, I've got um, Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo 3DS. This is the update. And then I have the DLC. So they have to be .cia, okay? So let's just go back to the emulator. Now what I'm going to do is go on here, install CIA. Make sure you don't do this for installing a game, but this is only for updates and DLC. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on here. It looks like we may be able to install both of them at the same time. Click on OK. Install success. Now let's see if this works.
Okay, now this is a new option. It's for replays and me fighters. Okay, this is new. And here we go, these are the new characters Mewtwo, Lucas, Roy, Ryu, Cloud, Corin, Bayonetta. And there's going to be a bunch of stages, so I'm just going to try and skip all of these. And a few trophies. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is probably speed up the video. Okay, all of that's done now. Okay, so what you could do is uh, click on Y, it will take you to another option and you can go into the DLC shop. I don't recommend you do that because uh, you can't go online right now with the simulator. So, once again, we're going to go to Game and More, Solo, Training, and there you have it, the extra characters right here. So let's pick Ryu. And again we got additional stages. So we got the Yaku Castle, that's Ryu stage. Peach's Castle. Under Clock Tower. Midgar. Duck Hunt. Super Mario Maker, that looks quite interesting. And Harry Potter from Smash Bros. 64. So I'm going to pick the Ryu stage. So that's it. There you can see I've got Ryu and the stage. And uh, unfortunately, the sound is quite stuttering. Um, I'm not sure if the FMV hack is going to help. Nope, not really, it's not. Okay, so next is uh, Shovel Knight. And I believe this is where we need to play around with the um, hardware shader. Okay, let's skip all of this and go into full screen. Okay, as you can see here, um, it's showing the sky right now. So what I'm going to do, um, let's go back to full screen. As you can see, yep, you can't really do much here. It's come back, but it's going to probably show the sky again. Yep. Okay, so what we need to do, okay, we're going to exit the game. Go into settings. Go to hardware shader. We're going to disable that. Go back to Shovel Knight. Let me just enable the single screen right now. So yeah, uh, that's how this game works, it might be for other games as well, I'm not sure right now. And the last game I want to try is WarioWare Gold, 
and this is we're going to try to emulate the um, motion control. Okay, bit of stuttering. So this game, we will need to enable FMV hack. So here, um, as you can see, has twist league. So this is where the motion control will come in handy. All right, Stooges, time to twist some stars. So watch this. You're going to tilt this thing right and left, right, left, right, left. Only right and left. Got it? Oh yeah, you'll need the A button too. It's the one with the A on it. Hey, why aren't you twisting stuff yet? Okay, so we've got ammunition by touch enabled. No way. Okay, I was a bit slow here. Okay, let's see if this works right now. Oh, okay, no. that was a failure. Okay, this is a perfect example. As you can see, the emission pack works. Here we go. Okay. I think I've done that. Nope. Oh. It is a bit hard. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it does. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. Um, if you have enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release those videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.